good to have you back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Word 2016 document to track and review changes. You might need this feature if you find yourself collaborating with a team to create a document such as a report or grant proposal, and everyone has a hand in writing and editing the documents. First, open a document you'd like to set up for tracking and reviewing. Here, I've used a short passage from Moby Dick and pasted it into a new document to which I'll be making some minor changes. We'll click on the Review tab at the top of the screen. Right underneath the tab, click the Track Changes icon and then click on the Track Changes menu item that shows up underneath it. Before we make any changes to the document itself, let's set the options for reviewing our document. First, choose whether to show Simple Markup, All Markup, No Markup, or the original document. For now, let's choose all markup. The next option is to choose what types of markup to show. Edits, comments, and more. We'll leave it as a default setting because we want to see all the edits we make in this how-to video. The next option, reviewing pane, can be set to horizontal or vertical. The reviewing pane allows you to see what edits are made and by whom. This is a great feature to have open, unless your screen is too crowded with it on. I've set mine to vertical for the purposes of this tutorial. Now that we've set our options, we'll make some changes to the classic tale. I'm going to remove the word drizzly in the second paragraph. Note what happens. The word turns red with a line through it because we're showing all markup right now. If you have the reviewing pane open, you'll note on it the changes you've made. Next, if we go back to our options and change it to simple markup, the word disappears and you instead see a vertical red bar in the margin indicating a change was made on that line of text. If you change the option to no markup, the vertical red line disappears and you just have the edited text. And finally, if you change the setting back to original, the word reappears as if you hadn't made any edits at all. Keep in mind that changing any of these options is not permanent. If you were to reselect Show All Markup, the word drizzly again appears in red with a line through it. It all depends on your workflow and what you want to see on screen for the options that you'll choose here. Now, I'll make one more change to the document by removing the word involuntarily from the second paragraph. Finally, I'm satisfied with my two revisions to the story and now I need to decide whether to accept the changes or reject them to bring about a final document. Back in our Track Changes options under the Review tab, we have the options for doing this. You can either accept or reject a change one at a time, or all at once. For this video, we're going to accept the first change. Notice that the word Drizzly disappears again. For the second change, we're going to select Accept All Changes and Stop Tracking. Make this choice when everyone agrees with the edits and that the document is in its final form. All of the edits are committed to the document at this point. Tracking is off and your document is ready for print. Note that if you leave tracking on, even if you're not showing the tracking on the screen, the markup will show in the printed document. If this is a desired result, leave the tracking on. Otherwise, turn the tracking off and reprint your document. There are a couple other options for reviewing documents, but it's easy to get overwhelmed with all of the choices. For today, we'll stop here and let you get on with your editing tasks. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.